Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa, confirmed Wednesday he is one of two previously unidentified senators who received death threats related to the confirmation Brett Kavanaugh to the U.S. Supreme Court, Wednesday, October 24, 2018 On Wednesday, President Trump signed an omnibus opioid crisis bill that Rep. Greg Walden, R. Orp, the bill's author, called the most significant congressional effort against a single drug crisis in history, known as the Support for Patients and Communities Act. It's a conglomeration of more than 60 bills that appropriate billions of dollars to a plethora of House Energy and Commerce Committee actions. Just in time for the midterms, some congressmen can now say they addressed the opioid crisis, but given that the bill bolsters many prior and dangerous interventions, we should only expect the crisis to get worse because of it. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Sen. Ted Cruz lead over Democratic challenger Rep. Beto O'Rourke is widening, according to one survey. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 In the age of President Trump, I regard polls and pollsters as irrelevant and useless. Ever since Donald Trump announced his presidential campaign, the Washington establishment continually got it wrong at every turn. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 The top Democrats on the House Armed Services and Foreign Affairs Committees want a briefing from the Trump administration on its plans to withdraw from a Reagan-era nuclear arms control treaty. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Anthony Scaramucci, President Trump's short-lived White House communications director, said his former boss could have done better in his initial response to the explosive devices delivered Wednesday to news outlet CNN, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, former President Barack Obama, and others. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 President Trump has signed a wide-ranging bill into law aimed at reducing addiction and deaths from opioids, an issue his administration has called a public health emergency. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 A new poll shows Republican challenger Patrick Morrissey inching ahead of Democratic Senator Joe Manchin in West Virginia's pivotal Senate race. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 The Interior Department on Wednesday approved what would be the first oil and gas production facility in federal waters off the coast of Alaska, part of the Trump administration's effort to expand where the U.S. produces fossil fuels. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 President Trump condemned the mailing of pipe bombs to his political adversaries Wednesday, and vowed to bring those responsible for these despicable acts to justice. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 The task of containing the fallout over Saudi Arabia's murder of a dissident and Washington Post columnist has fallen to a man who was once himself a fixture, even a playboy, in Washington's social circles. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum is ducking accusations of public corruption and calling out racism ahead of a critical final Florida gubernatorial debate Wednesday. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Rep. Maxine Waters, D. Califf, appears to be the latest intended target in a series of mail bombs sent on Wednesday. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 The president would do well to make a message against the bombings and political violence a central theme of his popular rallies. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 We live in extremely partisan times when blame is placed on the whole for the actions of a few. Wednesday, October 24, 2018 Photos shared by CNN and ABC News on Wednesday showed the explosive device and package sent to CNN headquarters in New York.